Every year, Muslims donate over a hundred million pounds in donations during Ramadan in the UK. A large portion of that is something called zakat. Zakat is a compulsory donation that Muslims have to make on 2.5% of their savings annually. However, something that many Muslims overlook is that zakat is not something that is just due on your cash, it is also due on your investments and your business assets as well. In this video, we're going to deep dive and unpack some of these areas. The wonderful thing about zakat is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only enjoins zakat on that portion of our money that is not actively deployed into the real economy. In other words, Islam really wants to encourage us to use our wealth in the service of the real economy to try and help humanity as a whole with our money. The other really important thing about zakat is that it has specific use cases. So you can't just take zakat money and use it for any old reason. It has to be for the specific recipients of zakat that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has set. And what that means is that our sharia is teaching us to take the stagnant money that is not really being used and to then deploy it into those areas where it's going to have the most impact, the most growth, the most return for its money and the most value add for humanity as a whole. You need to pay zakat on cash or things that are quite like cash. What do I mean by that? Well, for example, gold and silver are things that you have to pay zakat on because historically they were seen as currency as well. And they are actually even today fairly liquid and easily bought and sold. The caveat, of course, with gold and silver in particular is that according to some scholars, if you are using that in your day-to-day -day wear as jewellery, then they would be seen as exempt from zakat. The other big investment area that many people overlook when it comes to zakat is their pension. Pensions do have zakat due on them too. If you'd like to use an approximation, then scholars say that take a 25% approximation on your pension. Let's say it's 100,000 pension, take 25,000 pounds of that, and then pay 2.5% zakat on that £25,000. Why is that, you might ask? Why is this approximation business being used and why 25% of my pension rather than all of it? Well, the reason is because the pension money is actually invested in stocks and 